The Retro Basketball Association is here. 30 franchises put their best teams ever out there on the floor to go head-to-head in an 82-game season. Who is the best team and player of all time? We're about to find out in the RBA. Week one, we tip it off on a Monday here in the Retro Basketball Association in a battle for L.A. The underdog 2014 Clippers behind Chris Paul would get off to a hot start and Blake Griffin was making short work of A.C. Green. But Magic Johnson would pour in 34 points on the night. Chris Paul tried to keep pace, but when all was said and done, it was a Lakers 118-96, 34-10 for Magic in their opening win. The battle of two of the youngest teams in the league as the Thunder and the Raptors would face off here on opening night. KD would have a strong first quarter. Vince Carter would answer back with a couple threes of his own. But Russell Westbrook was the difference in this one. He would have 33 points, and KD would have a double-double. Here on the road, 21-10. Thunder win, 110-79. Tuesday in the RBA, the rest of the 30 teams would be in action as the Sixers would take on the Celtics, and AI was going to work early. It looked like he might be... Trying to put up the scoring record to start the season, but Larry Legend would try to keep pace with AI using a myriad of moves. And then late in the game, Kevin McHale got involved, but Iris had 48 points as they win 194. Just too much for the Celtics. Jazz and Sonics, a battle for the West Coast for two teams that were really born in the same era. But the Sonics up and down game, just Jazz could not stop the transition buckets. Kemp would have a big game. Payton would have a big game with a double-double, 110-92. to well, On Wednesday, a lot of teams playing a back-to-back -back here in the RBA to start off the season. But we caught up with Rockets and Bucks as it's Luau Center going against Akeem Olajuwon, maybe the two best big men in the league. In the end, the dream just too much for the young Bucks as Akeem Olajuwon would put up a huge double-double, 26 points, 24 rebounds as both big men would play well, but the Rockets would win by two. Sixers on the road against the Warriors. Could AI outdo the 48 points that he had in his opening night? Well, Klay Thompson had no answers for AI, and the rest of the team got involved. It would be 71 points for Iverson, 132 to 98. Sixers now 2 and 0. Oh. We had highlights for days in the Pistons and the Hawks. Dominique Wilkins would start us off with a putback jam, but Spud Webb with the highlight of the year, the dunk over Sally. The Hawks look strong in the opener, 105 to 90, behind 44 points from Dominique. Thursday would come quick here in week one of the RBA. We had some great matchups, including seeing Michael Jordan for the first time. Paul Gasol making things happen here for the Grizz, but there's one thing the Grizz don't have, and that is Michael Jordan, who would put on a show in this one, driving through the whole team and getting the dunk. He would have a myriad of dunks, 102-98, Jordan with 37. Well, we had a battle for L.A. How about a battle for New York? The Nets would take on the 72 Knicks, and they would get off to a hot start up by 14. Frazier would try to bring them back with some circus moves and a couple threes, but when all was said and done, Jason Kidd took over the ball game 95-75, 28 points from Kidd. The Young Thunder back in action this time against the 3 Mavericks, and Dirk was already ready to put on a show here on the road. Westbrook working against Nash. He would drop in a couple threes, but would end up shooting three for 10 from the ball game from long range. So Kevin Durant would try to get him going offensively, but couldn't stay with Michael Finley as the Mavericks pull away late. Nash with 46 points. Raptors and Celtics is Vince Carter trying to quiet down the crowd there at the Garden. Both teams looking for their first win on the season. And this would be a contest as Larry and Vince would go back and forth Vince acting like he was a slam dunk contest and Larry Bird would try to keep pace with Carter. But when all was said and done, it was Vince and the rest of the Raptors finally getting a win. 109-103, to 103, 50 from Vince Carter. Barkley and the 93 Suns in action against Mello in the 08 Nuggets and they would get off to a hot start. Barkley had no answers down low as Kenyon Martin would control the paint and then Mello would take over offensively. They couldn't stop him. 38 points for Mello, 102 to 76. Hornets and Timberwolves. Kevin Garnett in the building. 
there in Charlotte, and the big ticket wouldn't disappoint. Kendall Gill, though, in the first quarter, had 12 points, knocking down this bucket right here. But when all is said and done, Kevin Garnett would dominate 102 to 66, 46 points, 24 rebounds, eight assists, 10 blocks, almost a quadruple double. That brought us to Friday Night Hoops here in the Retro Basketball Association. Bucks and Heat, this would be the game of the week. Miami would be down three with 6.1 to go. Wade would miss a three. Shane Battier with the rebound. And LeBron James at the buzzer would send us to overtime. But in overtime, LeBron up two. He would miss two free throws. Bucks without timeouts. They would bring it up here. Three seconds on the clock. And big O. Bang! He would send us to double overtime. So we needed more action. LeBron was working to maybe have 80 points in the ball game. 74 is where we get. 161, 153 as they'd pull away in double OT. Raptors and Bulls. Vince first. Mike and MJ would get things started off in the first quarter as McGrady making a rare signing. But Jordan, just too much for the Raptors. He would continue. His onslaught and this one, couple jams. He would have 62 points in the ball game, 118 to 90. That would take us through the final day of the week. Saturday in the RBA, Sonics and Warriors and Kemp with a nice start. But Clay Thompson, he brought his game on the road to here to Key Arena as Peyton tried to battle back throughout the ball game. But Clay Thompson. Just too much. Curry would add a few. Draymond would add a few. Iggy getting his first start. He proved to be the difference. When you talk about these games, though, it is the slim margins. Clay Thompson shooting four of six from downtown. 114, 104. Warriors get their first win. How would the Heat respond after that double overtime win? Well, LeBron still had plenty of energy in his legs. Dwayne Wade was attacking the basket, but this was the LeBron James show. He put on a dunk contest here against the T-Wolves, 128-100. LeBron James, 50 points again, and he leads the league here in scoring. Time for the player of the week. It is Kevin Garnett in the Western Conference. You saw that almost quadruple double against Charlotte. In the Eastern Conference, it would be Luau Sender. He'd be the player of the week. They didn't come up with any Ws, but he had some incredible ball games, including... 68 points in the loss against the Heat. The RBA back next week with all kind of action. We're streaming live on Twitch at twitch.tv backslash Coltrane. And of course, all the highlights each and every week in the game of the week right here on YouTube. Hit that like button, subscribe. We'll see you then.